Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. In a previous Tech Chat, we covered different items that RegoFix offers to help you check your spindle and maintain your machine, such as the master bar or the edge master or the indicator base or even something as simple as the taper cleaner. And we talked about you need to be able to check the force of your draw bar but we didn't give you an option on how to do that until today. The RegoFix Force Master is a brand new offering to allow you to check the drawbar force of your machine. And what's really nice is, well, the way that it comes packaged. It will come in this very durable plastic case for safe storage, and it's made to be used in the shop. So let's take a look at what's inside. So inside you have, obviously, the nice force master device and then it's made so that you can have different options you can purchase different adapters that thread on and we'll go over that process in a moment but the main thing is the force master itself has a nice safe spot for storage and for shipping and for making sure it stays safe and you have the different options for different adapters that you can use on that force master so let's take a look at the Force Master itself, how the adapters go in, and just how easy it is to use. The Force Master itself has a very ergonomic design. It's very easy to hold on to. It has nice grooves for your fingers so that you have a positive grip on the unit itself. As far as the operation, it's very, very simple. I have a on switch, and now it will go through a basic startup process. Now, while it's doing that, let's talk about how to add the different adapters for the different machines you might have. So the Force Master itself has a threaded plug on the bottom, and that threaded plug is what goes into your strain gauges and your force measuring. And then I have different adapters. Now the adapters, in this case I have a HSK40 and I have an HSK63 on the table, and we're gonna go through the process on how to put those on. It's really relatively simple. I'm gonna take the HSK40 in this case. I'm just going to thread it right on to the central plug. Take it all the way down till it's tight. Now what's really nice is the outside ring is loose. It doesn't have to be tight, but the inside portion here is very, very tight to the, to the unit itself. Now, back to the force check itself. I have a nice screen, it's very, very easy to read. It displays max values, the date, and the time that you're currently being used, uh, your battery life. And what's really nice, if I rotate the unit, it actually rotates the screen. So it doesn't matter the orientation or left hand, right hand operation into the machine, it always stays in the proper, uh, orientation for easy reading. Before we head out to the lab and actually test this on our Herco machine, let's give you an up close view of exactly how it works using this little bench top spindle. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. We're going to zoom up nice and close so you can see the screen and how it works. We've placed our force master into our little test spindle. And all I'm going to do is going to tighten the back of this with a little Allen wrench and it's just gonna show you how quickly it starts picking up the force. And here we go. So to start turning this real quickly, I'm expanding the draw bar fingers inside, and I'm just gonna give it a little twist. I'm not gonna put a lot of force on it. But you can see really, really quickly how easily this works and how quickly it gives a result. And if for some reason I have a different reading, I can go back to zero here, let it zero out. I'm going to not save that value. I'm going to zero it back out. And I'll give another reading here. So if I have more than one machine, I can just record different values. And if I had a, a significant drop, like I just shown here, going from 900 and some foot pounds down to 569 foot pounds, I would know that it's time to maintenance my machine. So really, really easy to use. So now let's go through the process of changing adapters and let's go in the lab and show you real life application. 
One of the key features of the Force Master is how easy it is to change adapters. And the simple fact, one Force Master can go through multiple machines and taper types. So we already went through the assembly process. Well, taking it off is just as simple. It's gonna thread it off. In this case, I'm threading off the HSK40 adapter. And for our Herco machine in the lab, we need HSK63. So I'm just gonna thread this on. And I make sure that the taper itself is locked all the way on, and then I'm ready to go. I'm resetting to have a zero value. So now I'm ready to head to the lab and get a real reading on our test machine. Now that we're out here in the lab, let's go ahead and test the Force Master in our Herco HSK63 machine. Now we've already put our correct adapter onto the end of the Force Master. All we have to do is put this in like any normal tool change that you would have in your spindle. And it's just that simple. If you have any questions on the Force Master that we talked about today, or any of the other metrology products that are used at the spindle, please reach out to your Regofix technical team. We are here to answer your questions.